Hey guys, I'm so excited for 2022 and starting this year off strong. Yeah, new year, new Ricky, I love it. You know, Pinky, I am excited as well. It is indeed the year 2022 AD, and I'm sure you know what the AD stands for. I know, Domini, the year of our Lord. Well, wait a minute, I was struggling there for a second, but I heard a word, dominoes. Did you guys know in high school I was a domino champion? Oh, Ricky could line up dominoes as far as you could see, and then, you know, you hit the one, and then they just go brrrr. Yeah, I was good at that. I saw it to rain on your, how you say, glory days, uh, but yeah. we're talking about Anno Domini. It's a, the year. It's a, tr it's a specific thing according to the calendar. Oh, so no dominoes. Nine. No, no. Oh. Not at so. Oh, okay, sorry. That was a distraction. I got off, I got off course. Sorry about that. Oh, okay. Carry on, carry on. Let's go. Oh, hey, boys and girls. I'm so excited to get 2019 started off strong. Uh, hold wait, on, wait, wait, a wait a minute. Did... Did she just say 2019? Pinky, did you just say 2019? Because it, you yeah. know that it's, she said tw it's 2022 yeah. because, oh. yeah. and I know you know because you came out and you said 2022, oh. yeah? Uh -huh. yep. so. Oh, well, I've been struggling with some short-term memory loss lately. <gasps> it all started with, I was taking a test. I was taking an exam because I went back to school, you know, to get a few more degrees with my super brain power. And sure. I was trying to calculate the mass of the sun, and I just drew Ooh. a blank. Oh, well, I draw a blank, too, on that calculation you're talking about. I mean, but sometimes Ricky has trouble with even, like, a 10 plus 10. I know it's 100 if we're talking about laps or something, but it's kind of hard for me. Okay, well, Ricky, we expect it from you, but for Pinky, this is not normal. Are you sure? Like, did you hit your head, or do you have a think concussion, so. maybe? I mean, I think I would know if I hit my head. Uh -huh, uh -huh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, this is a little more my area of expertise, because in racing sometimes, you know, you hit your head, or, you know, you have a wreck. I remember one time I was racing at Talladega, and I was coming around turn four, I was like, and then I was like, whoa, oh, oh, oh. and I... Well, I hit this six slick spot in the road, and I fell into the wall, and it knocked a few screws loose. I couldn't remember my name for like a month, but it was okay. It was fine. Uh, we are pretty sure, Ricky, having a few, how you say, screws loose? Yeah, a couple screws loose, just rattling around. Uh-huh. We know it's normal for you, but we, for Pinky, we need a few more details. We have a uh -huh. problem. We need, I, need to, I, I need details. We need details. We need okay, to sorry. analyze her. What's happened? So you said, a minute ago, you said... You started forgetting things only this week, yes? Yeah, only this okay, week. Okay, okay, and you remember no type of head injury whatsoever. No. Yep, yep, I got it, I got it. I think it could have been something Pinky ate. Something I ate? Yep, there is a direct link to eating broccoli and memory loss. Uh, Ricky, this is not based on science whatsoever. Much as well, I'm aware of. That all is right, ridiculous. all right, all right, fine. That you is the me. most ridiculous. I just don't thing. like eating broccoli, so I kind of wanted to throw broccoli under the bus. No. Yeah. But listen, there's got to be some more details here. Oh, wait a minute. We can't ask you to remember because you got memory loss. <sighs> well, there is one thing. I mean, I was taking this really hard test and using all my super brain power, so maybe I just used it all up and I overused it. <clears throat> hmm. I got it. I got it, Professor, I got this. Just oh, trust me, trust oh, no. me. Listen, there's this exercise that I can do. You're gonna have to follow along and do everything I do. Okay. But once we're finished, your memory will be, you know, ready to roll. All right. All right, okay. okay. I'm ready. All right, so just come on up here. Let's loosen up a little bit. All right, now, start by reaching really high to the sky. Stretch okay. it out. All right, now you're gonna stand on one foot, kind of get oh. the circulation going. Good balance. Okay. All right. Now, this is going to seem a little weird. I need you to squawk around the stage like a chicken. Give it like a... Ricky, I don't boop, boop. know if yeah, this is okay. helping. Yeah, this, trust me. You got to trust me on this. Okay. All right. Now, I need you to kind of hop around like a, like a gorilla, like a chimpanzee. Kind of give it a... <laughs> <laughs> what yeah, technique yeah. is this? Yeah, yeah. All okay. right. Now, now, uh, now you want to do... Um, Let's see. Simon says, raise your hand. Ricky, Simon says, really? Ah, Simon says always worked for me. It's like kind of a good way to unwind after a race. 
you know, oh, you're ridiculous. I, I do have some ideas that might be a bit more effective than whatever that was, okay. but I will need to spend a little bit of time on my lab. So in the meantime, do we have a story today for Transformation Station? Oh, we do have a Bible story today. Mm -hmm. Actually, you'll like this. It's about memory loss or okay. kind of short-term memory loss. So you guys see the Israelites, God freed them from slavery in Egypt. Remember? And then they went in the desert for 40 years, but they forgot how terrible it was to be enslaved in Egypt. So they started asking Moses for, like, where's the cafeteria for all the food? And, like, where's our water fountains? And, like, what, what are you doing for us here? And, well, hey, we got a video. Let's watch that, and then we'll, we'll talk about it a little bit more, okay? All right, check it out. Moses led the people away from the Red Sea and they came to the wilderness. When they could not find good water to drink, they complained to Moses. God told the people, if you obey me and do what is right, I will not punish you like I punished the Egyptians. Then the Israelites came to a place called Elam, where there was plenty of water, and they camped there. The Israelites left Elam and went out into the wilderness. When they got hungry, they complained to Moses. We are starving, they said. You brought us out here to die. But Moses had not brought them out there to die. God knew what he was doing. God said to Moses, I heard the Israelites complaining. Tell them that they will eat meat for dinner and in the morning they will eat bread until they are full. Then they will know that I am their God. That evening, quail came into the camp and the people ate meat for dinner. In the morning, Fine flakes like frost were on the ground. What is it? The Israelites asked. It is bread, said Moses. The Lord has given you bread to eat. The Israelites called the bread manna, which means, what is it? God gave the people instructions for eating the bread. He told them to gather only what they needed to eat that day. If they gathered too much, the leftovers went bad. On the sixth day, they gathered twice as much so they could rest on the seventh day. The seventh day was the Sabbath day, a day to rest. The Israelites did not always do what God said to do. Sometimes they gathered too much manna and sometimes they tried to gather manna on the Sabbath day. Moses was upset that the Israelites did not trust God and obey him. For many years, the Israelites traveled in the wilderness, going wherever God told them to go. One day, they stopped to camp, but they had no water. Moses, give us something to drink, they said. But Moses did not have any water. Lord, what should I do? Moses prayed. God showed Moses a rock and told him to hit the rock with his staff. When he did, water came out of the rock and the people drank the water. God was with his people. I like that. Uh, I like that complaint box they had. Hey, um, you know, like I was telling you guys, the Israelites had forgotten how mean the Pharaoh was in Egypt. They were having short-term memory loss, like like Pinky was. But then they were kind of in this like, "What have you done for me lately, God?" mood, right? And I think for us, it's just a good sort of uh, message to say, "Hey." God will provide for us. God will take care of us. Ricky, that's a really good reminder. See what I did there? Reminder? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Every, yeah it's it's good. a good reminder about how we need to rely on God. And sometimes we feel like we need to rely on money or even our brains, our super brains, or our teachers or our schoolwork. But God wants us to rely on him. You know, friends, one important point in the story today is like you say, God told the Israelites and he said he gave them only what they needed for that day. Mm. Isn't that amazing? And that's sort of a good lesson for us to remember because we like to plan or we like to prepare. I mean, look, I love to plan and prepare, but we don't have to worry because Jesus will be our rescuer. We don't have to worry about tomorrow. Oh, you know what, Professor? I think you've stumbled onto a Christ connection. Mm. You know, we have the, the Christ connection. Here it comes. Oh, I love the light bulb. Fantastic. All right, let, let, here, I'm going to read this, everybody. All right, y'all ready? In the New Testament, Jesus said that he is the bread of life. God provided manna. 
from heaven, which is bread, for his people's physical hunger. And later he provided his son, Jesus, for our spiritual hunger. The Israelites needed bread to live for a little while, but whoever has Jesus will live forever. That's wow. a good Christ connection. I love that. That's one. good. Mm -hmm. Professor, Absolutely. did you find anything that would help my memory? I oh, yeah. I actually did, and I just finished it up. Take it. It's for you. Oh, it will fix everything. Amazing. Wow, E equals MC squared and 3.1 is pi. Oh my goodness, Professor, you did it, my wow. brain. Yes. What was in that? You know, just a little herbs, a little spices, and yes, a little apple juice, you know, to make it go down better. Yummy. It's a little brain power for you. Perfect. Wow, Professor, that, hey, 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 hey. what's happening? Oh, I was just going to say, I've been having some trouble. I can't find my other pair of sunglasses. Do you think you can whip something up for me to, like, help me with that? I, I, don't, I appreciate it. Maybe I can no, do it? No, no, no. I believe we are past help for Mr. Ricky, but I will help you look for your sunglasses All later. All right. I, just, I thought I could mm. go in the lab and figure it I out. I know you like broccoli so oh, much. Oh, I love broccoli. Mm -hmm. not, not really. Mm -hmm. um, hey, you guys, uh, in the meantime, let's say a prayer and thank God for providing for us. You know, his, his perfect plan, it may not look exactly like what we want it to look like, and it may seem a little strange at times, but we need to trust in him because he's never going to give us more than we can handle, right? Let's remember that. All right, let's say a prayer. Y'all ready? Dear Heavenly Father, <clears throat> Ricky here. Thank you for all the boys and girls here this morning, and just thank you for always providing for us like you provided for the Israelites in the desert so many years ago and just help us to remember that you got a plan for our lives and that uh, you know it's perfect and we need to trust in you and just rely on you and not rely on all those other things like Pinky was talking about I pray all these things in your name Amen, Amen. Alright you guys thanks for coming this morning